But I want to say uh, my association in Mississauga has been, I've spent a lot of time with the Croatian people. They're great people, great residents, great citizens of Canada. They've contributed so much to the development of our city from in the uh, construction industry, et cetera. And they, they have, what I admire about them is their faith. They're very de dedicated to their, to their faith in God. And uh, they're just wonderful citizens. I've enjoyed the many, many, many hours I've spent in the Croatian Park in Streetsville. Uh, I would just drop in to be with them, to, uh, to enjoy their company, etc. So I'm so proud to be, and I recall very well when you were a part of the communist Yugoslavia, and I raised the Croatian flag in Mississauga. And the Consulate General of Yugoslavia was very upset with me. But I told him, I decided whose flag I would raise. And I raised the Croatian flag at City Hall when you were still a part of communist Yugoslavia. And I'm using this opportunity on behalf of all Croatians around the world to, help, to thank you for this really support that you gave us when, as you said, others were not in favor of us. You have supported many organizations and a variety of the activities. What would be your message for the young Canadians? I would say to young Canadians, be committed. Be committed to whatever, whatever uh, profession you want to follow or whatever work you want to get involved in. But also remember that you must give back to the community in which you live, therefore giving back to the country, because our quality of life in this country is second to none in the world. And there were those that preceded us that made this possible. And we must make an effort, and the young people must make an effort to protect that quality of life. To do that, you have to contribute. You can't be forever taking. You've got to give back. And uh, as, you, as young people graduate from high school or college or university, remember that somebody made it possible for you to succeed in the educational field. And therefore, as you go forth into the working world, you must re remember that you must give back because uh, others provided that opportunity for you. And you must provide the opportunity for those that are going to follow you. And of course, not only for those young Canadians who are now going through the universities, we are also talking and very proud of the young Canadians who are involved in variety of trades, and we need them to build Canada for the future. Well, yes, we can't have all university graduates. We can't have all doctors, dentists, lawyers, accountants. We have to have skilled workers that can build things. And in my opinion, I would think that I can't think of a greater satisfaction than a person like a carpenter, a plumber, an electrician, a bricklayer, etc. That Those people are so important to the building of a, of a future and a quality of life. If we don't have those skilled workers that are prepared, because to me, to build a building is, is an art. To design a building is an art. To be able to lay the brick or, uh, or uh, uh, use their uh, artistic touch on carpentry is just as important as any profession.